and I'll be showing you how to set up, how to go about it, and then the next part I'll show you is how to do it through layers and into shot. So what I'm using is I've got the 600T, it's located on the bin, so I'm trying to uh, So I've already set the focus point, it's already set to uh, the statue there, I've set it to manual, so that when I fire off the shot, I don't need to worry about what to focus uh, So I'm using the Young Neuro Wireless 603C wireless triggers. And what I'll do is basically show you how to get to the point and I can just take the shot and I'll basically get you in the picture while I'm standing there. Uh, usually you can do a self timer to run to the spot, but I use the wireless triggers and just save them for the bottom. So what I'll do is I'll start getting the position and uh, we'll do this video. Hey guys, so now what we're going to do is we're going to edit the images for uh, Photoshop and Photoshop to make the multiplicity images. So you've seen the wee kind of video previously uh, showing you made one about getting that done. Uh, so now I'm going to show you how to basically edit these into one image. So these are the images here that I'm going to use and we'll just drag and drop them into Photoshop. And what Photoshop will do is just load these up and we'll get this started just close that down so get another two to go i think and there we go okay so what i want to do is uh, there's an image i want to start off with first and it's this one so this is going to be my main image and the reason why is because i never paid attention to my background and as you can see there's a truck in the background uh, that shouldn't be there. Uh, so this is going to be my main image. So I'm going to just drag the padlock down and then rename this to top layer. And this is my main image. This is where I'm going to transfer all the other images into. Basically because it's just a wee bit harder to uh, go around uh, that character there. So I'll use that as the main one. So what we'll do is, if you select your move tool, press and hold your left key down and then drag and drop into the top layer and that's it dragged now you've got top layer and layer one so now what we can do is just delete that layer the next image same again press hold down drag and drop into the top layer and we'll just move this up done and delete that and we just basically rinse and repeat for the images that we want to use and done and we can delete that this one didn't work so because I was two other uh, multiplicities over the top of this image that one won't work as you can see there, so drag and drop in. <coughs> now obviously, I mean, a couple of things you need to do when you're doing these images is either on a tripod or on a solid uh, surface. I sat mine on top of a bin, a flat bin, so it was steady to use. Uh, pick your spots where you want to stand and position yourself. Uh, I never done this in this video as you can see in this because I totally forgot about the truck that was 
uh, reversing behind me. Uh, but pick your spots. Uh, I was lucky I used the Young Neo uh, 603C wireless triggers, so I can stand a good 100 feet away and still take shots. Uh, if you don't have that and you've only got a remote shutter or you have uh, just a 10 second shutter on your camera, then set self timer, then set it to 10 seconds and then basically just run in position where you want to be and uh, let the camera take its shot, then just run back and press the button again to take another self timer and then run back into a different position and do that two, three, four times until you've got the images you want and then basically do what I'm doing here. So we're using the top layer and what I'll do is I'm just trying to find out where layer 4 is, is what I'm working from now. So this is the top layer, this is always going to be the top layer. So layer 4 is me standing at the statue, so what I'll do is get the eraser brush, which is here. And we'll make it, that should be fine, and basically all I'm doing is painting myself in, or erasing myself in from the bottom layer, so that I'm showing through. Now there is a couple of different ways of doing multiplicities. Uh, you can paint yourself in with the uh, black paintbrush and white paintbrush so you can reverse it. Uh, I just find it just as easy just to use the eraser tool and do it this way. So there's the first one and what I want to do is I want to merge these two so they stay together. So if you hold down your shift key and click on the bottom the layer below that you are just using, both of them should highlight. And then once they're both highlighted, right click and just select Merge Visible. And now that's two shots in one. So now we want to find out where the next one is. And that's me crouching there. So same again, just use the raised brush and that should be me. And merge. And the next one is me on the bench over here. So we'll just erase me into the bench, just shown here. <coughs> Pardon me. And merge. Now the next one is where uh, I forgot where I was standing. And as you can see, this character is going to be over the top of this chap here. Uh, or me throwing the ball. So you just need to be careful. And as you can see, I'll just paint myself in here. And it can be tricky at times uh, to try and get the right to find out exactly where you are. But as you can see, I'm just painting myself in. And because the camera stayed steady on a tripod, everything in the background should stay the same, as you can see. Uh, nothing's really changed. This is where it gets a wee bit tricky because I have now as you noticed here, I'll just zoom in again, is I was standing over where I was throwing the ball, which didn't quite work, but we'll just need to paint myself in here. And paint in there. As you can see, look, you can see a person coming through there, so we'll just undo that wee bit. And I'll just paint it in there as if. And then, same again, we'll just flatten image, and that's you got your multiplicity image. Then, what you want, if you wanted to, is just do a crop. That's my crop. Turn it black and white. And there you go, there's your multiplicity image with five characters in it. So I hope that's been of some use and some help to some people out there. So what to do is if you can leave comments below, eh, also thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already done so. 
and uh, I'm also looking to do my fifth or sixth photo critique so if there's any of you guys out there wanting between six and eight of your images critiqued then what to do is send me a wee email uh, with a link to six or eight images and I'll basically try and fit that into one of my next photo critique videos uh, just send me a wee disclaimer as well saying you're allowing me to use them on a YouTube video and that should be fine alright guys thanks very much cheers bye